the final and sixth film review in this series, uh, Rocky Balboa, which, you know, 30 years after the first one, this came out in 2006. Um, it was a nice, I thought it was a nice wrap-up. I thought it was a nice end to the Rocky story. Um, you know, he's killed off Adrian. Paulie's still hanging around. A lot of the people he, he had trained with and worked with have died. Life goes on. You leave people behind. People disappear. That's how it goes. I thought it was a nice film. You know, uh, it starts with Spider Rico. Well, it doesn't start with, but Spider Rico is in it. He was the opponent from the very first Rocky that he's fighting in the, like, the, you know, under the eyes of Jesus. If you've seen the first one, which hopefully by now you will have done. This, from this particular version, packed with special features, as you can see there. That little bar there is. There we go. That little bar there is the uh, special features. This is, is the film. This was the film of the franchise that had the very famous, very quoted speech about, you know, the world ain't all sunshine and rainbows and all this. It's how hard it is. I will do it. It's a good film. It's it's one of the better ones. I would put it as maybe the second. If we're, if we're talking about filmmaking, it would probably go the first Rocky, then this, then, then the others. Um, I thought at the time it was a nice wrap-up. It was good the way the character went out. It was good the way it ended. It's got that nice little end credit sequence with all the fans running up the steps at Philly, uh, the Philly Museum. It's something I would like to do myself at one point. I'm a Rocky fan. Everybody wants to watch it. If you're if you're looking for Rocky films that aren't so much designed to get you pumped up and motivated to hit the gym, but you're trying to convince people who either don't think Stone can act or don't like the Rocky franchise but have never seen it, I would suggest the first Rocky, Rocky Balboa. Uh, maybe if you're trying to convince them that Stone can act, throw in Creed. Um, if they haven't had enough of it by that point, again, the, the aforementioned cop hand that I mentioned in other films, I had other film review clips. Rocky Balboa, it's well worth watching. It's very enjoyable. It will get you feeling motivated to get in the gym. There is, there is still that because it's a Rocky film after all. But a lot of it is is put again on the story of the characters. I don't think we needed the character of Steps. I don't think we needed the character of Little Marie to make a return. The dynamic between uh, Rocky Balboa and Steps, I think, take that out and give more time to the story between Rocky and his estranged son, who they're trying to build bridges. That's what I think would be better for this. Again, it's just my opinion. Um, you know, at, at the heart of the first Rocky film, it was a film about a guy getting given a shot and going for it. The second tier of that was a love story between Rocky and Adrian. The actual boxing was third at best, uh, you know, at most, because the film was about a guy fighting the world and trying to find his place and make his mark. The boxing was just there to show it. To physically show it. If you just have a guy sat thinking about making it and, and getting behind a computer and, and typing things up and sending off office work and, yeah, I got a promotion, that's, that's not very entertaining. If you've got a guy actually getting whacked in the face repeatedly for real, we understand the struggle, we understand the fight, the literal fight to make your way in the world and to, as is quoted throughout the film, not just be another bum from the neighborhood. With Adrian gone, the love story is kind of taken out. He's very clear, Rocky, just before the fight in Vegas, he mentions, you know, my wife's gone, but she ain't really gone. And then little Marie brings him a picture of Adrian um, just before the fight. So the, the Marie story there wasn't even a love story. It was just like, yo, we need a woman. We need a woman for this, this story. You've already killed off Adrian for some reason. Let's have little Marie who you walked home in the first, that people didn't even realise to begin with that this was the same character. The little Marie character, incidentally, does make a return in an edited out clip in the fifth film where she's working at the bar, if I remember correctly. He obviously goes back to the bar and that's where she's working in this. But anyway, I digress. Um, it's worth watching. Watch the first Rocky. Watch Rocky Balboa. That's for the filmmakers and the film lovers and, and good storytelling and good acting. But you've got, obviously, six of these if we don't include the Creed uh, franchise, the Creed films. So let me know what you think. Uh, let me know how, how you rate them, how you rank them. 
and I'll see you next time with some other videos.